Welcome to Excel Metric number 1233. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Metric 1232 to 1234, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1231, we had VLOOKUP to 36 tables. In that video, we one of the solutions we saw was to use the indirect function and define names. But someone asked, hey, what if I want to add new records below the table and new products and have everything update in the table? Hey, that's no problem. Instead of define names, we're going to use the Excel table feature. That means as I add new records below here, the table will update. The table name will automatically incorporate the new records, and the formula will be pointing at that table name. But I've already done most of them. Now, how am I going to do this? I'm going to take the name from the region and the product group, and when I convert it to a table, I'm going to be sure to name it that region and product group. Now, I'm going to copy this in edit mode. Enter, West, enter, and I have a freestyle. single cell in the table selected. I use Control T. Now, if I convert this to a table, I want to have empty cells all the way around, and I'm never going to put anything below except for new records. I click OK. Now I need to add the proper name, so I go up to Design. And guess what? I don't want to click there. I had to do this a lot of times, so Control T and then the keyboard Alt J T A, that gets me up to the properties table name and control V. So there's that West Freestyle and enter. Now I can go up here and select West Freestyle. So if I come down here, West Freestyle, and there it is. Now I can see I actually uh, called this the incorrect thing. This is the Bellin group. West underscore now I'm going to do that same thing again. Copy in edit mode, Control C, Enter, Enter, Control T, Enter, Alt J T A. I've jumped up here, Control V, and Enter. Now I'm going to do it two more times. You could see knowing keyboards helps. Control C, Enter, Enter, Control T, Enter, Alt J T A, Control V, and Enter. And one last time, the rest of the tables I've done. Control C, Enter, Enter. Control T, Enter. Alt J, T, A. Control V, Enter. All right, so now we have all those table names, and this will be awesome. Now I want to, from my transactional data, create the right table name. So I'm going to say equals four cells to my left. That's the region name. And join it to with the ampersand in double quotes underscore in double quotes, and join it to the product group. Now that right there is a text string. It will not work. But guess what? F2, I can use the indirect function. And the indirect function specifically takes text that's text and converts it to a reference that already exists. So now I close parentheses, Control Enter, double click, and send it down. That's a ridiculous error. But just for this first one here, this is West Freestyle. We can see it right here. If I highlight this and F9, you could see, sure enough, it got the right table. Now let's just try this and see this if this works. I'm going to add a new boomerang to the Freestyle group. Bellin, and as soon as I hit Tab, it adds a new record. And the discount rate for this is 0.052, and Control Enter. Let's go into the cell, highlight it, and F9. And sure enough, look at that, Bellin 0.052. Now if I were to come down here, West Bellin Group, just to see that the indirect is doing its thing, it should totally be looking at a different table. When I F9, you could see, sure enough, there is the Bellin group. Now, I'm hitting F9 there. I could undo that, or if I want to revert back to the formula that was already in the cell before I put it in edit mode, I can click Escape. Now I simply use the results of the indirect function inside of VLOOKUP. So now I'm going to look up Carlota. That is the VLOOKUP lookup value. The table array is a different table for each transaction using the indirect function and the table that it retrieves. Comma, it's always going to get the discount 
from the second column. So I put a 2 for column index. Comma, 0. We're doing exact match, close parentheses. Zero Control, point one Enter. Three. Double click and send it down. That is absolutely amazing. 36 tables in any single one of those tables. If I start adding new records or taking away, let's just see if this will work. If I take this away and then delete that, sure enough, if I go to Table Array and hit the F9 key, you can see, sure enough, the table feature can expand or contract, and it will totally work. All right, we'll see you next trick.